Hello everyone, I'm Scott from AgriAce. I'm based on a cattle and goat property in the Hunter Valley in New South Wales. And our product is uh, remote electric fence monitoring. So electric fences are really important on your farm if you use them. Uh, keep your livestock in the right paddocks, control your grazing and your breeding programs. It keeps the animals off the road and stops them wandering into the neighbours and never being seen again. Uh, so can I just see a quick show of hands who uses electric fences in here? Keep your hands up if you've never had a problem with them. Yep, usual result, no one. So the fences are really prone to uh, problems. You get branches falling down on them, you get kangaroos jumping through them and tangling the wires. Uh, you get bulls fighting and knocking them down or even people cutting them on purpose and chasing pigs around your place. So this is where uh, the AgriAce uh, electric fence monitoring product comes in. It allows you to keep an eye on your fences from your phone or your computer. So it uses a technology called LoRaWAN, which is a long range wireless technology. I won't say too much about it now because you're going to hear from a couple of LoRaWAN companies later. Uh, so ideally, if you were checking your fences manually, you'd want to check them at least once a day in all the places that you need to check them. Uh, but that still allows 24 hours for problems to happen. So you really need to be checking them once an hour or once every 15 minutes. So this is where an automated product like this comes in uh, very handy. The picture in the corner here is what happens in my place when the fences fail. I end up with goats everywhere. This is them having a great old time jumping on the cars in the shed. Uh, and causing a bit of damage, but you can't hate them for it. They're too cute looking. Uh, so on Carwoola, we installed two fence sensors. Well, actually, I didn't install them. Uh, we just posted them down. They're so easy to install. Darren just bolted them to a fence post, connected a couple of wires, and they're up and running straight away. Uh, I haven't actually even seen where they are installed yet. So you basically bolt one of these units to your fence. And then you can have a look on your phone, and it'll tell you the voltage each of those points you've put a sensor. Uh, so one question is, how many would you want on your place? You really want at least one per energizer at the end of the run, so you can see if there's a problem somewhere along the line. Uh, and then after that, you can have a few down a long run, so you can narrow down the problem a bit. So instead of chasing a fault along 20 kilometers, you might narrow it down to one or two Ks. So we've been running trials for the last few months around Australia and New Zealand and been getting great feedback and we're just preparing to launch the next couple of months commercially. Uh, so if you want to have a look at the website or come and have a chat to me afterwards, uh, we're ready to start selling them in the very near future if you want one. Um, that's all for me. Finished early. Thank you.